Hello, my name is Patrick Pettit, and I'm here in the Print Media Center just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. And today, as part of our expert talking segments, I'd like to talk to you about our XL106 18,000 hour machine. There's a lot of innovations that have come out recently with air enhancements, with mechanical enhancements, and a complete system. Although this is a short segment, I'm gonna focus just on the Perfector itself. But again, keep in mind it's a full system. So today what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna actually go up to the machine and open up some of the covers for you to take a deep dive into the mechanical aspects of the Perfector here on the XL106. So now we're up here in between units four and five. So where I wanna start is right here below us. And this is our variable transfer drum. Our variable transfer drum allows us to run a wide array of thicknesses of materials. It's hinged and has segments that can expand or contract based upon those thicknesses that we choose to run. What's important about that is when we start to get to thicknesses above 12 thousandths, we want to expand the cylinder. And the reason why is we want to help feed the sheet onto the storage drum. And that's important for front to back register and stable print. So the storage drum can accept the sheet off of the variable transfer based on the expansion or contraction and the, again, pertaining to the thickness of the material that we're running. Also an innovation that we have on there is the jacket itself. It's a special surface. It's a transfer jacket blue. It has a special ink repellent surface to it that eliminates or reduces marking. So underneath our variable transfer drum, you can't quite see it here, but when we run those lightweight materials, we want to have good stable sheet travel. And to do that, what we have is a sheet guide pan that helps stabilize the sheet as it's being transferred from our transfer cylinder into the suction drum itself. Okay, so now we're here at the storage drum on the XL106 with a wide variety of substrates that we can run. There's some enhancements that were made to the design to help ensure secure sheet contact to the storage drum. And why is that important? Well, we want to make sure that the sheets are all consistently secure to the storage drum in order for really accurate front to back register. Some of the enhancements I want to point out on the storage drum, put extra vacuum into the storage drum via these slots that you see here on these ribs. So that helps secure, especially that rigid material onto the cylinder itself. They've made enhancements to the suction bar. These are a larger diameter, the more holding power. And when we run thin substrates, we can allow these to rotate. And what that will do is tighten the sheet and allow for good front to back sheet register. Now, as the sheet comes around, it goes into our perfecting cylinder. Underneath the storage drum are a bank of fans. So there's three fans that are located underneath the storage drum. Two of those will blow air up to help secure sheet travel. And one will actually be a vacuum to help counter that just a little bit. Along with that is we have a proximity sensor that looks at the distance of the sheet to that row of fans. And based on that distance, it's going to control the volume to ensure good sheet transfer to the perfecting cylinder. Okay, so now what we're taking a look at is our eccentric variable reversing drum. And that's, if I point out, is right at this point right here. So on the XL106, what we've done is some enhancements mechanically to the, the pincer bar gripper. Now keep in mind, this is a single gripper system. And why is that important? It's important for quality. We don't have a double gripper system as we reverse the sheet. We have a single gripper system that ensures great quality front to back register. So what have we done? We've done some enhancements here with reinforcing the grippers. It's 50% higher gripper force. We've made enhancements with modified air settings. Again, coming onto that uh, off the storage drum into the pincer bar gripper. On the very ends, we have a wing gripper system as well. So when we run some of those smaller sheet sizes that might fall in between the grippers, those can now help control the sheet as it goes into our 
variable centric drum here. Along with that, on the cylinder itself, we have a refined cylinder jacket, again, to help enhance the quality of the print. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit better some of the enhancements that we've made here on the XL106 18,000 hour perfecting system that we have. Of course, there's much more than just this segment. But again, we can leave that for another time. But I'm glad you stopped into the uh, Print Media Center here in Atlanta. And as always, uh, we invite you in to take a deep dive into the XL106 and take a look at the innovations that help improve quality and throughput. <laughs>